We are at Ashy 2020. We are back and here to learn. We're hitting all the vendors first today. Last time we only hit the major vendors that were part of our business. This time we're going to try to hit everything. Where are we? We are in New Orleans. Yes. Yeah, so what, what do you want out of this this time? I wish the PowerPoints were here. Oh. That's what I wanted. That's she the want, only thing I can Okay, do. we're going to get those PowerPoints. We use those for education in our, uh, in our team meetings. So we'll go from there. All right, come and check us out. So Ashy... 2020, right? That's the year? Yeah, yes. I think I think it is. Yeah, so actually 2020, we were back here two years ago, 2017, and I think I said my numbers, and it was like 1,100 home inspections or something like yep. that. Yep. And two years later, at ACC answered all my phone calls, and last year we closed 2,090 home inspections. So y'all doubled our numbers in two years, or helped. You know, it's all a big team effort. You know, it's not it's not just one thing that works, of course, but you know, Paul Zach and his team is ACC is a huge part of it, and let him tell you what he does. Thank you very much, Chris. I really appreciate it. It's our pleasure to serve you and help grow your inspection company. Together, we make an awesome team. And we'd love to be a team with you as well, to be your office at ACC. What we are, think of us as your trusty office, handling all your sales and lead management, booking all your inspections, handling all your leads, and not just by the phone, but also by email leads, text message leads, however your leads are coming in, we're going to grab them, sell them, book them, and get it done. Then we're going to do all the order management services, so that booked order is all fully formed, polished up, and ready to go, so you can just go do what you love and that's the inspection. Then we also have a full series of business development and marketing services, and what those are as marketing services to complement marketing you may be doing, reaching out to your agents, your clients, even handwritten notes if you would like. Come talk to us, we got lots of things to help you grow your business. Our goal as your office is to do three things for you. Get you more inspections, get you more add-on services per inspection, so increasing your revenue, and giving you time back to be able to work on your business, be a solid business owner, and do what you love, solid inspections. Chris, it's been a pleasure serving you as your office. We look forward to many great years with you. And in 2020, you set whatever number of inspections you want, and we're going to work with you to make that happen. Absolutely. And one of the biggest things that I want to say out of all of that, what he just said, it's the time back. I mean, I have like thousands of hours. I don't even know that I get to work on just marketing alone and, you know, managing that office employees. I don't even have to think about it, you know, and his team handles it and they are my office. I know sometimes it seems a little salesy, but they really are. I can do whatever I want. I could be like, hey, I need you to call this person and do this. And they're on it. No complaints. And I got to tell you, as a successful multi-inspector company owner like Chris is, doesn't he look relaxed? We can help you look relaxed, too, and grow to a multi-inspector company just like Chris. Nice, Paul. All right. All right. That's great. And uh, I say we're going to try to go to the Vegas one next year. So I will. we can say those numbers again and see where they're at then. Again next yeah, year. next year. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's go check out the other vendors. Okay. So just down the... A few booths down, we got Cherie with ISN. I've been using ISN for, I think, seven or eight years now. They've helped me book set thousands of home inspections now. And um, they are a CRM management system to help organize your home inspections. But what else do you got? We actually have a lot. A lot of people already know about ISN and all we do. Really business management focused to get the home inspector out from behind the desk and back into the field doing what they really love. So that's one of our biggest assets. Um, but coming in the very near future, uh, as a matter of fact, we just released some stuff last night. So you'll notice in your ISN, if you haven't taken a peek today, you actually have new text messaging services there for you. Uh, it's really great. You're able to see all of your text messages um, and all the communications that have happened where before you couldn't see all that stuff. So that's a really great thing that we have going on. Uh, again, released last night. And within the next two to four weeks, we're going to have a new payment signature and report delivery page that's coming out streamlines it better for the client makes it better for you they can actually also print a copy of the receipt right after they make the payment instead of waiting for an invoice to show up 
So we have some great things coming in the very near future. That's pretty cool. You know, the, yeah, the text messages, they just went out automatically before, and we had no history. They just kind of went out. And then well, that was an issue that's been for a long time, clients being able to sign that agreement, especially with, like, the older, older generation. They just could not figure it out. So we'd have to pull it up and be like, you sign right here. So you'll solve that. You'll solve that issue. Absolutely. Always on top of it. All right, nice. So uh, that's Cherie. If you have any other ISN questions, give her a call. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks. Just a little bit further down, I have Pamela here, and uh, she is a credit card merchant services, and she's going to tell you a little bit about what she does. Okay. Hi there. I am Pam, and I'm with Ideal Merchant Services, and I would love to be able to share with you how I can eliminate all of your credit card fees. Yes, I said eliminate all of them. Call me at 603-801-8025. I'd love to share all the information I have with you. Thanks a lot. And I love this this work. This is absolutely wonderful, this expo. This Ashi a, is great. Is this the first time you've been here? Yes, it is. Really? It's wonderful. The people are great. And I've had so many inspectors coming to my booth. And I've shared so much with them. And I'm lot, lots of good feedback. Nice, nice. Sweet. I actually have extremely high credit card bills. So I need. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, give, I'll talk to her and then we'll go check out the other booths. Okay, so right here, they couldn't be in the video because of government regulations, but right here, this seems like a pretty decent program. It's a VA organized program, so if a veteran needs to buy a home, they have to be inspected in phases for the loan to pass. So they'll pay out to the home inspector to come out and do it in each phase. So you can almost pick up three inspections off of each phase, and they have a standard report. So if your state is licensed, you need to have that that state license but if it's not you have to have that education required to get the training so from right there uh, it's a pretty cool program we'll drop the information below all right come we're gonna go check out another vendor okay so I got Charles Buell here the legend himself if you don't know who he is you should look him up he has a fantastic blog online but also he is representing Scribeware a report writing software and why should home inspectors use this and are you teaching uh, this year yeah, uh, I'm not teaching this year. I'm here just to support Scribeware and take classes like everybody else. And uh, I'm also uh, uh, I'm also pushing my uh, illustrations, which you can see in the background there. Uh, but Scribeware is unique in its ability to uh, be as deep or as shallow as you want to be in report writing. So in other words, you can write a report that's very minimalistic or you can write one that's on steroids like I do. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, nice. So Charles Buell has been in the industry over 30 years? No, no, no. Oh, uh, 17. 17 years. Okay, I got that wrong. But he's been in the business for 17 years, but highly educated, very strong online presence. And pretty much, if you have a question, he answers it almost right away, don't you? I do. I try, but I don't. I wish I knew everything. All right, he doesn't answer it right away, but he likes to. He likes to prove that he's right all the time. I do know that. <laughs> all right, cool. So that's us, Scribeware and Charles Buell. Look him up. Okay, so just a few booths down. This is actually pretty new. We have never had a booth like this at Ashy before. So you do social media awareness, or how to teach home inspectors how to do videos? Yeah, we uh, we teach home inspectors how to make and use video to grow their business. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I started this doing like three years ago, trying to get into it, and it's been like a slow progression of constantly failing. Yeah. And I finally got to a point where I think I kind of have it. Right. <laughs> so, you know, one thing I do have to say, if you don't know how to do it at all, a service like this is fantastic, because as soon as I started doing video, I immediately saw an increase in my business. So yeah, we had the same experience uh, a few years ago when we first started putting out videos. So it was like third quarter, mm -hmm. fourth quarter, we doubled our best fourth quarter ever. Right. So you're a home inspector too yeah, as well. Yeah. We have a home inspection business as well too. So, so, so what, what's your, do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, we, uh, we do have a YouTube channel. So with this business, the closing guys, it's uh, closing guys media okay. on, on YouTube. And we've definitely put some of our videos there. A lot of our stuff's concentrated on social media. Yeah. That's kind of been our primary thing, but, yeah. uh, you guys do a lot of YouTube, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. We have like 120 videos, I think. And, wow. it, and you can see, the progression. So I follow the Gary V tactic. I don't know if you follow Gary Yeah, v. Content on content on yeah, content. Yeah. So I just started doing it and then I just was like, well, that didn't get anything where and yeah. I, just, I leave it all there. So if you want to see like my progression of how bad it is to it being kind of decent, <laughs> that's, that's where we're at now. 
Yeah, yeah. there's so much opportunity in video for all small businesses. You know, we've seen in our inspection business and, and the market is primed over the next four to five years, you're either gonna get ahead of it or your competition is. Right, yeah. So either you're gonna take advantage or someone else is. And we wanna be out there to help people that wanna do a quality job, good guys, be able to take advantage of video. Nice. So how do they find you? Yeah, if they'll go to socialvideomadesimple.com, okay. that talks all about it. We have an online e-learning course so you can learn right from the very, very basics. We focus a lot on messaging because it's not just making it, it's how you're framing it and mm. the content you're delivering right. more than the production quality. And I'm sure you've seen that yeah. as well. Telling a story. So there you, you have go. To tell, you have a start, middle, and an end. Yeah, and, and then... it's got to impact the end user. Video right. that people watch, they don't watch it to know about how great you are. They watch it to solve a problem. Right, right. So, And then we're doing a special mentor group for the group here at I'll Ashi. Yeah. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going to run a 90 day mentor program to uh, help people implement it all the way through how to implement video and sales funnels and stuff. So well, that's awesome. So that's Brad and uh, social media guys. Did I get it right? Social sorry. video made simple. So, sorry, that's Brad with social media made simple. Give him a ring, and I'm telling you, like social media has increased my business by a lot over the past three years that I've implemented it. So easy, easy. awesome. Yeah. It's great to meet you. Yeah, man. nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Cool. So I have Michael Conrad here with Diligent. Hey. He was in our podcast before, so go and check it out. It's uh, Agent Retention, and that is on my podcast, <laughs> Home Inspection Whisperer. So here we go. Um, he's going to tell you a little bit about what he is doing at Ashy, and then what's your impression so far. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, Michael Conrad here, uh, also known as The Diligent Inspector. I have a channel you can check out on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, j actually just got in. Uh, I've only been here about like 25 minutes, but the vendor hall is impressive. If you haven't been to an IW and checked out all the different folks that are coming here to showcase their inspection-related software and technology, you got to come check it out. So, Find a time in one of these years, it's always in late January every year, to come check it out. Um, I'm looking around and I'm saying, this has got to be one of the best I've seen so far. Uh, the marketing, even just the banners and everything around here is excellent. Looks like there's a great lineup of education as well. Um, I'm a little impartial. I'm teaching tomorrow at the second session on the science and business of mold. So that's going to be a really interesting session because I think a lot of vendors here are selling people mold pumps when in reality they're not teaching them how to have a mold business inside of their home inspection business. So. If you guys are watching this, or if you're interested, hit me up on Facebook or come check out the class tomorrow. And your but yeah, YouTube channel too. yeah, come check out the YouTube channel. We're gonna be hitting stuff on that as well. Nice. Yeah. So he's been in the industry for a while. We're pretty much even. I, I don't like to say quite even, but yes, he's in the he's in the Nashville area. And we're not that even. I'm actually yeah. killing it. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So he's a really great guy, and you can follow him and uh, watch watch us grow. You know. Yeah. All right, go check out another one. Okay, I got Steve Rector here. We ran into each other. We bumped into each other. But the thing is, is I forced him to come. You know, <laughs> forced kind of. But he Barely ended it. Had to twist my arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got him here, and he showed up two days early. And so far, what do you think? Uh, it's been a lot of really good information. You get to meet a lot of influencers in the industry. I took the thermal imaging class with Bill Fabian for two days, and then the deck class with Nadra. You think you know what you're talking about with decks until you take that class. I mean, seriously, I, you think you know, but then they, they, they pretty much condemn every deck, but it's, it's, it's not that bad. Um, but they give you a ton of really good information, and I thought that Bill Fabian's class was excellent. But just the fact you get to meet all kinds of people from the Facebook groups and different people around, and people like Mary LeMaster, yeah. <laughs> and um, just get to, it's like your Facebook page comes alive when you get here. Right. So you get to meet all the people you're friends with online, and you get to talk to them, and I've already picked up so many amazing gems about my, for, to help my business already, that it's been great. You know, and that's what I said to him on our podcast. Uh, he is on the Home Inspection Whisperer podcast too, and we, his business was kind of like all over the place whenever he started. And then through our coaching program, he's like locked on, and he has the processes. Yeah, yeah, he has the processes, the systems, the flows, and you know, what do you think about that so far? It's been amazing, but that's what's afforded me the ability to even come here and do this was locking on to processes and establishing what needed to be done in a way that. 
you know, the call center, the ISN, all that stuff that I should never have been messing with all this time is now being proper, properly handled by the professionals <laughs> while I go do my thing and what's important for the business to grow and move forward. Nice. Yeah. So he also uses ISN and ACC too as well. And um, check us out on the podcast and you can see the follow of the coaching program and, and Steve Rector growing and also killing it. He's a very successful home inspector. And how long have you been doing it? You've been doing it forever. Right. 12 years. Um, and then we just had Chris was Chris was over here and I was standing there and two guys came up to us and just said, are you Steve Rector and Chris Murphy? And, you know, Chris was sitting over there and there's like, man, you guys gave us so much good information. And then he just wanted to pick my brain for 10 minutes. So it was great. That's exactly what's supposed to happen here. Yep. And that's what it's about. So even if you don't want to see any vendors or you don't want to take any classes, even if you just come to the expo for two days and just go to go and talk to all the home inspectors and sit down and have a drink, you're going to pick up just something that will change your business. All right. So the awesome man. And I'll, we're actually having dinner later. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, I got she in here with Blip. He's been part of my business, I think, for four years or three years. I don't know. It's it doesn't matter because his service is great, and I now have 500 and plus reviews at my main location. And then I decided to open up several other places. So I have one in Cyprus, Montgomery, and Galveston, and all of them have over 100 reviews on them. And so, tell me what tell them what you got. Yeah, so uh, we make re getting reviews easy. Uh, it's automated, so you don't have to do anything. You save time. You save, get, you know, getting a bad review and having to think about it and lose sleep at night. So we just automate getting the reviews for the inspectors, and uh, it's easy to use, simple for the customer, and it works. Yeah. So if you watch our previous vlog, I said that I had heartburn because I was always worried about negative reviews. I literally got heartburn from it, and <laughs> he's cured it. I don't have heartburn anymore. So that, that is. I don't know why that slogan. Now you got Mary up there on the slogans, but that should be it. Be like cured Chris's heartburn. That's <laughs> that's what it should say. All right, cool. So uh, that's Sheehan. Check out Blip, and he's been part of my business for a while now. Starting to run out of breath. I don't know how many people this has been, but we are at another booth. We have a new a newer software. It's called Inspectify, and um, Josh here is going to tell you what he does. Yeah, so Inspectify is a new um, inspections software platform. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that is, we've been around since August, so fairly new. Um, we're a holistic solution in the software space for inspectors. So we have report writing software that we've made for inspectors. We also have um, the CRM sides so that can manage their business. But we're also a marketplace as well, where we partner with nationwide brokerages to send more business to inspectors. Um, and the whole idea is we're a one-stop shop for everything an inspector might need to grow their business. Um, since we're new, we're trying to get our, our first 300, 400 inspectors on the platform, so we're offering it for free to any inspector that signs up and joins um, as a way to help us make the software make it better and make it uh, get more folks on. So that's Inspectify. Nice. So I think I've noticed that one of the biggest problems with like newest newer softwares is like inspectors will make a suggestion and then it takes forever to get the change in. So what do you think your turnaround is for that? Yeah, so we're a pretty small, nimble team uh, right now. I, I wouldn't want to lie, so we have a ton of developers. We have two, myself and our CTO. Um, usually we can push out a request within a day. Um, it's super simple. Uh, inspection software, it's a big secret here, but inspection software is actually pretty straightforward. It's a glorified checklist, right? So it allows us to move pretty quickly to make changes. Um, we use React Native, um, which is a one code set for both of our apps. So if we need to make a change to Android or iOS, it's one code change. So we can do things super, super quick. Nice. All right, cool. So if you're looking for another software out there, check out Inspectify. Okay, closing it up. We drove all the way from Texas, made it to New Orleans, finished the vendor hall day. So now we're just going to go get some food, and then tomorrow we're going to interview the teachers. I have several classes lined up. We have three classes. They're all two hours each, and I'm going to try to grab the teachers and interview them about what they're teaching on the class. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I just finished the WDI class. This is the first uh, class of ASHI that I went to so far, and we got Marco here. And I went to his class two years ago, and it is a building science class. So he doesn't just do WDIs. He's been inspecting for 30 years, and he was the one that actually taught me. You'd hear me talk about, like, the big picture. It's not just one problem. It's one problem that leads to another problem, to the reason why you are looking and at what you're looking at, you know, the reason why the problem exists, I would say, right? So it could be even something just a drain in the yard 
yard that's actually causing an odor inside the house. And I thought that was like, wow, I've been looking at this too simple. There's more to the big picture. So WDI class was great. Uh, we learned about everything, dry wood, termites, Formosa termites, pests, rodents, I mean everything. So we did a little bit about a lot. We almost made it all the way through, but um, let uh, Marco talk, tell them a little about, well, about what you do and then how they can find you and then sure, the building science. I love that stuff. Absolutely. You know, when you're, when you're inspecting a house, you know, you're not looking for just a termite or you're not just looking for a mouse. You're inspecting the house as a unit. It's, it's, it's a big picture. you got to see the big picture. It starts from the outside. So you actually just started a program where, you know, 30 years of your experience and people can ask you a question. Uh, they can call in and ask you a question and and you can just you can answer pretty much anything just with a phone call, a few photos and get back at it. Do you want to describe that program a little bit? Absolutely. You know, um, I've had a lot of YouTube videos and people will call me all the time. And I've got a, you know, a lot of you know, kids and my wife be like, what are you talking to people all night for? You know, <laughs> and I get calls all, the, all over the country. And, and I've been, you know, I've had a lot of licenses and I've, been, I've done you know, this for 33 years. I have over 18,000 inspections. So you know, I've read a lot of books. I got a quite extensive library. And so I can answer people's questions. A lot of problems, you, people call you up and they'll say you got an odor. And, and all of a sudden you ask, what kind of odor? And where's it at? Is it during the day? It was the house face the south. What kind of, how old's the house? You got a basement, you got a cross base. Do you have duct work? And you ask them all these questions, they're like, oh, wow, it could be this. You know, I had one guy call me from West Virginia, and this was kind of easy. He goes, my house smells like creosote. You know, I'm just like, really? And I, I go, well, how, how old's your house? Oh, we built, oh, how'd you build it? Oh, the railroad, you know, the tracks were, they went out of business. They quit using it. We used the railroad. And I go, so you build your house with railroad ties? Yeah, really? No wonder it smells like creosote, right? But that's the problem is he needs to get rid of the smell. Mm -hmm. So I say, hey, go to Walmart, get yourself a couple fans. And I go, put the fans in the window and make the fans blow into the house and call me back in a couple of days. He call me back, no more smell. I'm like, yeah, because you pressurized the house, you know? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, we got a house that's built wrong. We're going to pressurize it. We pressurize it. And we didn't do it with the Walmart fans. That was a test. And, gotcha. and I told them how to do it with the furnace, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and so I'll get calls. I get calls from all the time. And people call me up. You know, I, I tell them 15 minutes. If it's longer, it's longer. And, it's, and, and, and uh, sometimes I write reports. That, that's Marco for you. So, you know, he has a lot to say. And then obviously he, can, he has a lot of experience behind him. So if you have a problem like that in the home inspection world, you know, and you don't know the answer, even $30 can save you a lot of time and headache from looking it up and y you don't even know what you'll learn you know you know <laughs> I was gonna say uh, and it's pretty easy to find just google call Marco with a question yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and, and I come up you know and you gotta spell my name with a k call Marco with a question All right. that's awesome so um, are you planning on teaching next year uh, we um, we've been uh, we've been teaching I, I, I'm going to guess we've done this 10, 15 times. So we're going to we're going to try to, you know, they they look at your. We have like over 20 classes, mm -hmm. and they pick one. They just happen to pick the wood destroying insect one this mm -hmm. year, and we'll submit them again, and it'll be maybe a different class. And there's different topics. Some are a little more intriguing classes, you know, and they're all they're, they're all different types uh, of uh, seminars or uh, continuing education classes. Okay, nice. So um, that's Marco. You can take his class next year because I'm pretty sure if you've done it 15 times, 15 times in a row, they're, they're probably going to choose you again. And uh, I plan on trying to teach social media next year. So uh, yeah, check that out and um, we'll hit the vendor hall one more time. Okay, second day in the vendor hall. I have Rose and Brent. I said it right. <laughs> yeah, so with, you know, with ID Energy. And they're going to tell us a little bit about what they do from what I understand is they help ID uh, energy audits for the home and it's an additional service home inspectors can use. So help, tell us how it can help us out. Absolutely. So the home energy score is going to provide your clients with what we call a miles per gallon rating for their home. Energy is actually statistically the highest annual cost to a homeowner next to their actual mortgage. But in the real estate transaction, no one's talking about these energy costs. And this can be a, a huge burden depending on your income level and, and, uh, and, and where you are. So we're excited to be able to provide the training and certification for home inspectors to provide that miles per gallon rating, estimated annual energy costs for your clients to really give them that above and beyond consumer protection and to help them make their homes more safe, more comfortable, more affordable. This is Rose. She's a home inspector, does them with her inspections. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brent. So yeah, I've actually been a home inspector for about three years and I've been with ID Energy for two now and it is a wonderful product. I, my clients absolutely love it. No one else on the market is giving them this valuable information and uh, we just want to make sure that homes get more efficient so that we can save the planet but also make our, um, our clients more responsible homeowners. So yeah, I've had a lot of success with it and uh, we're really happy to be answering all the questions from home inspectors this week. Nice. So what are the most important questions? You know, home inspectors are always going to ask you this. What uh, is the upcharge? What do you normally get out of that, you know, uh, on the added value or how much did the education cost? Right. I'll let Brent talk about all the deals we have going on at the conference, but as far as um, from a home inspector's point of view, I actually use it as um, a free marketing tool for my clients, so I offer it to my clients for free, but many people do charge between $25 and $75 uh, per inspection, and if they do it as a standalone, they get up to $150 or so. So a lot of people can upcharge for it, but personally I choose to use it as a marketing tool. So Brent, do you want to talk about the deals we have? Sure. Yeah. And one of the things, too, is that this is coming across in a, in a municip uh, municipality level where cities and states are taking these programs on. And in some places like Portland, Oregon, Berkeley, California, Austin, Texas, um, uh, uh, Minneapolis, uh, they have requirements to have to uh, get energy ratings before you can list your home uh, on the public MLS. So this is something not only that you can use to provide an ancillary service to help grow your inspection business, but this is the future wave of what's going to be happening with real estate transactions in America. It's what we call an energy label. And uh, so we're going to see this really spread across the country in the next few years. So to be ahead of the game, um, to stipulate yourself in the real estate industry as an energy expert now, just like you are a home inspector, is going to be really important um, for you to, to gain that now. Certification. Training costs, our typical cost is $500. If you are a member of a home inspection association, ASHI, InterNACHI, CREA, TRAPIA, FABI, we give you an instant $100 discount on our certification services. You can get trained remotely from any place, anywhere, as long as you got a computer and the internet, we can get you certified with the U.S. Department of Energy. Nice. That's fantastic. You know, turning $500 and being able to upcharge even $30 on a home inspection, you'd make your money back so fast. And then also the, the value that you add. I inspect homes all the time and I see five HVAC units and I'm like, that's 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 a that's a big energy build, you know, <laughs> you know, like so, so. That's a fantastic. So if you want to learn more about it, look up ID Energy and uh, check them out. The information will be below. I got Michael Marzi in here. I said his name correct this year. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, good friend. You know, we met two or three years ago, I think three years ago. And ever since then, we pretty much talk bi monthly. And, you know, he's in the podcast too, so make sure you check out the podcast. And, and one thing I wanted him to talk about is why he likes being a home inspector, but also what, I mean, this conference, I think it's the biggest one I've been to so far. I think they actually's really outdone themselves this year. So, what do you got? This is an awesome conference so far. Um, they've got all the vendors here that I needed to talk to. So I've bought new software since I've been here. I bought some new tools. I like to prefer to call them toys. Um, but it's got everything I need here all in one space. And it's also one time in the year that I reconnect with all of the uh, inspectors that are my friends from around the U.S. And that's probably the greatest benefit of this whole thing. And I'm really sad the Packers lost last night. <laughs> you know that, that's it too you know I we, we talked about that on the podcast too about coming to the conference it's not just about the vendors it's not just about the classes but hanging out with your friends you know I hung out with um, I hung out with Sheehan the the owner of blip and then also uh, Michael Conrad the teaching the mold class and he has diligent home inspections and all we do is sit there and just talk business for hours and the stuff that you can pick up from them is crazy and you and I were headed down to French Street after this yeah we're going down to French Street and we'll We'll just talk about business, you know, friends, family. So that's that's what it's part. Yep, yep, a few drinks, <laughs> and we'll go from there. Yeah. All right, so you asked the question, why do I like being a home inspector? 
I like being a home inspector because every day is different and every house is different. And you have to have an incredibly broad set of knowledge or information to be a really good home inspector. So every one of my inspections you get in, I don't know out of me for sure because I don't know everything. But I'll also tell you I learn on everyone and it makes you a better inspector. So the more you do, the better you are. The better you are, the more you do. And it's a really neat cycle of things to do. That's why I like being a home inspector. Yeah, yeah I completely agree yeah <laughs> yeah I completely agree with that you know every day is literally different I don't think I've ever had one day where it's the same you run into a new problem and it is okay to say I don't know and when you don't know you just you take it you analyze it you ask your other home inspector friends that you meet at these conferences and then you go on from there so you're right you know I don't know is not a bad thing in the home inspection world it means that you're gonna go and find out and it is forever evolving you forever change I'm going to add to that. The longer you do it, the better you are able to discern good answers or good information from bad answers and bad information. And that's one of the reasons I like this crowd, because you can cut through the BS, actually, and get some really good information. Yeah, completely agree. All right, so that's Michael. And uh, check out our podcast. Check out his business. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that was actually 2020. Yes. And I, I think there was a lot of vendors, great inspectors, a lot of classes. Mm -hmm. I made it to actually 80% of them this year. So that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what'd you think, Isis, for your first one? Um, it was really cool, it was interesting, it was fun. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> nice, and what'd you think, Mary? It was very interesting. We learned a lot, but we wish those PowerPoints were available. Yeah, I agree. Next year, please let us download the PowerPoints. We use those for our education for our home inspectors. And then also um, the siding class was really good. And there was one other that I thought was really good. Sewer scopes, I bought two sewer scopes cameras. So I plan to make more money. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good year. Yes. So good we'll year. see you in Las Vegas. And uh, we'll be able to judge our numbers to see if they increased. Yes. All right, all right, let's go check it out. <laughs> Got a weird close up on my face actually. <laughs>